Welcome back on the VST channel. This here is my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. It's running One UI 6, the latest Android 14. And today we are going to talk about modes and routines because this is really very powerful. A lot of people out there that I know, friends, colleagues that have Samsung phones, they're using modes and routines and also routines plus from good luck to try to create some really custom use cases that are useful for them. Like for example, going outside will disconnect you uh, from your Wi-Fi or let's say dropping below 30% of the battery will trigger this or that action. So indeed the modes and routines are very powerful and there are quite a lot of people out there using them to their own benefit. But forget about this for a moment because today I wanna talk about something that is quite similar but also yet different and very powerful. And this is the macro droid device automation application which you can download free at least for testing purposes from the play store and this is all about task management and i'm going to show you really what you can do it's very powerful and i'm going to show you also why i like this and if you have really interest into that area in automation of course you're more than welcome to go download it and test it for yourself so one of the few first things i want to share with you is why I decided to give it a try, guys. Why do I have to use this? I still have my Bixby routines, right? The moment I saw there is a template store with more than 1,000 ready routines or macros, uh, I was like hooked up on the idea. So let me walk you through the application and show you how it works. And of course, I'm going to demonstrate several of those macros or routines that I really like. But first thing first, the moment you go inside, you can click on the templates and then you have either like top new those are really people working their own scripts, sharing their macros. Of course, they're the top rated one or the latest one. And of course, also the grouping per users. Immediately, I clicked on the top rated one. And one of the first routines or macros for me to try out was the intruder photo. Takes a photo when your pin is entered incorrectly. So let's say that you want to install this routine, guys. You can just click on it and install it. It works very simply. You just enter here, you press this plus button. And then, of course, you go to macros. And there is something very important, guys. When you enter the routine, you can see really how it's made. Now, all the triggers and also all the actions that will happen. If I now am to show it into the photo, I can see that the trigger is a failed login attempt. This is the trigger. This is really what causes the routine to start. The action that will follow after you know the event has been triggered is taking a picture. And of course, you can also place some constraints, some limitations, some limiting factors. There's something important, guys. This is not going to work straight away because uh, there has been some changes into the way Android works. So you have to reconfigure some of those actions, but it's very easy. Let me show you. For example, right now, if I am to take a picture, I, I can always go back here on the hamburger menu and press the test macro. And my phone will try to attempt to create a picture, but then I'm going to end up with having an error. And the problem is that I'm not able to write to the external storage. So I need to make sure that the routine or the macro is properly configured. So how does that work? Simply click here, then there's going to be a configure button. You can choose the front facing or the rear facing camera. You can also choose to show or to the height camera icon. And of course, then you have to select the storage. Now, in my case, I want that the folder droid has been used. So I just save it and boom, now I don't have any issue. So imagine right now I'm somewhere, I've put the phone on the table and I go outside and somebody grabs my phone. Of course, they cannot unlock it with using the fingerprint. So they're gonna try to guess my pin. The moment they enter a wrong pin, yeah, you guessed it correctly, right? Probably they will see this icon, probably not. But what is more important is that I'm gonna get a picture, a picture of the person that really tried to unlock my phone. And it really gets even better than this, guys, because this is just one of the routines that I wanted mm, to show you. As I told you, I've been using some other routines. Let me show you the second routine. That's called the smart screenshot. The moment you kind of flip the device for one second, it will trigger a screenshot. And why would someone use this? Now, you have plenty of options to take a screenshot. You can use a combination of hardware buttons. You can use a swipe with uh, three fingers. But why not just do like this, guys, and boom, the moment you go outside, you get a screenshot. I mean, this is very, very useful. So let's say I'm browsing something, right? And I want to screenshot it, guys. I'm just going to flip a phone, put it back, boom. Immediately, a screenshot is going to get created. And <laughs> one more thing that I want to show you, because again, there are really a lot of options. The next one here is called secretly recording audio. So let's say you want to do this. Of course, you should not do this, but 
Let's say you want to do this, guys. The moment I flip my phone like this, I'm going to feel a very subtle vibration. And I can keep talking, talking, talking. And the moment I put it up back, well, yeah, guess what have happened? Exactly what you would expect to have happened here. Like this, I'm going to feel a very subtle vibration. And I can keep talking. So you just get the point, guys. This is really very powerful. And I honestly believe it's even more powerful than what you can do with the Bixby routines. Now back to the main menu, guys. If you want to add a macro, you can start from the home. So we have plenty of options. There is a macro wizard. There is also a forum, action blocks you can import, export, stopwatches, gel fences. The options really are unlimited. I'm not going to now teach you how to do a macro, but what you need to memorize is that you always have triggers, events that occur and that they can trigger follow-up actions. So let's say I want to add a new trigger. It can be an application. It can be related to battery consumption. Somebody calling you. Connectivity, date and time, sensors, all right? If I go to sensors, you can see light sensor or the screen orientation or sleep or whatever, shaker device. So let's just try to do one. Okay, I'm going to choose here shaker device. So the moment I'm shaking my device, what do I want to happen? I can click on the action and I can go on the camera and I can, let's say, just take a picture. All right, this time again with the front facing camera. And okay, I'm going to show the icon and I have, of course, to go and choose this path. This is very important. Now, guys. This is it. So this macro is there. I can just give it a test name. So let's say I'm just going to put it like test name and I'm going to try to uh, import this macro. If I go now to macros, I should be able to see my test macro. So the moment I'm shaking the device, boom, a picture should have been made. Um, yep, is this the case? Now, uh, let me tell you, if I open <laughs> my file explorer, I'll see here a picture. And um, one more time. Okay, I'm going to wave. Yep, the moment I start waving, guys, the phone is taking a picture. That's that here. So it's really a very, very powerful application. Of course, the downside is that you have only seven days to try it out. And then, of course, you can pay, but it's not so expensive. And if you're into automation or you just want to test it out, or let's say just make some things more convenient for you and adjust it to your lifestyle, then you're more than welcome to try. And there are plenty of settings there. I'm not going to even touch this, but this is really probably one of the most powerful automation apps I've seen. And if you like videos like this, guys, then you can also automate your subscription to it. Thank you so much for watching. BST over and bye.